Okay, this is an additional video to my Tina Tuesday video because seriously, there's not enough video time to talk about the Harry Potter movie. This last final movie literally made me cry more than once. Um, several times in the movie, um, okay, spoilerish, just in case you haven't seen the movie, I know some of you have read the book, so really it's not too spoilerish, but still. Anyways, I cried when um, um, Harry finally got to see um, his parents, Sirius and Lupin, um, at the um, at that scene uh, with the resurrection stone, and um, what else? Uh, few moments after that, I think um, it was the scene where um, it, it just like it's right before the nine years later moment where it just Ron, Hermione, and Harry all together, and I was just thinking back on how they were there from the beginning and they're the reason those actors that movie the first movie was the reason why i got into the books and i mean i i had a few people friends of mine that were convincing me to to read the books but um it was the movie the magic of the movie that caused me to read this book these books and finally i was at the last movie and it, I just started crying some more in that moment and then as soon as it got to the epilogue scene I was crying in like happiness because there they were going off like, there with their kids to the King's Cross station and I was just like oh it just feels so real and I was just so happy and I was hearing that music that heard in the theme park and it was just it's amazing just to hear and see this this movie wrapped up at the end and I was crying there and then crying afterwards um, when I saw Barnes and Nobles uh, when I was parking for IHOP I was just like oh you know right there that was like a complete full circle because you know I saw the movie the first time and I wanted to go straight to the bookstore to get my the next book because I wanted to read the next book even though I should have read the the first one even though I had seen it so I ended up reading the first book don't worry about that um but I just needed to know what happened after the first movie and I was just like I need to know um so that's what ended up happening for me but um the movie was just amazing it was so close to the book um there were things that changed sure um, and I, that was expected and I was happy about the change um, so, with some of them and some of them I was like uh, I don't know like with the Ron and Hermione kids I was like I liked the original kids that they had in the book but at the same time where they put it, it the original kids wouldn't have been able to be possible and also they couldn't put house elves in and so tons of things wouldn't have worked out for the original. I'm also glad that they added a, a Harry and Ginny scene, a kissing scene, because that really added to the movie, because we don't get a lot of Harry and Ginny scenes um, in the movies, and um, there's a lot more scenes with Harry and Ginny in the books, which is nice that we have it in the books, but we don't get it as much in the movies, so I'm glad that we get at least a few moments um, with them uh, before the epilogue, um, which helps a lot for the epilogue as well. Um, but that's just uh, one of those little things where I was like kind of happy that they added it even though it was not part of the book kind of thing. Neville was really good and uh, Alan Rickman was amazing in his role as Snape and, and just all the different action scenes and everything. I liked it in IMAX um, 3D and just even though some people were like 3D it's like there was only a little bit of it but for me I was just like I was amazed by it all. It was just incredible. Um, I still haven't reread. I well because you know how I was doing a process of rereading before the movie and I didn't finish completely so um, I'm gonna try to finish rereading before I rewatch the movie again 
on Thursday, but I don't think that's gonna happen either. And um, I saved my ticket stubs in this little baggie because this is the baggie that I used to save my tickets before I got there. Okay, it was an amazing movie, and I can't wait to rewatch it again. And um, I'm just excited to get it on DVD because then I can see it whenever I want. Um, but next to that, um, hopefully you'll like my, my movie poster and I'll talk more about this later on when I rewatch it again and I'll hopefully have more time because I'm running out of battery on my, on my camera. Amazing, huh? See you later. Bye.